Ben, you've talked a lot about how Health Code has a bunch of healthy fats, and we've got this, what we think is the perfect blend of healthy fats, but the average person, they still think that low fat is healthy. Yeah, yeah, that's right, they've, they've bought into it. And that it's gotta be low fat this or zero fat that. Yeah, fat is essential to the human diet. There's no debating that. <clears throat> we need certain types of fat in our diet. That's one benefit to fat. Also, so much of the conflict around fat comes from very poorly done studies from the 50s, 1950s. And that these poorly done studies really acted as the basis upon which the anti-fat movement is built even to this day. The reality is natural fats, those fats that our ancestors have been eating for millennia, are healthy to, to overall human um, function and, and, lo and longevity and, and mitigating risk of chronic diseases. And these are fats that come from animals and fruits. Now, people want to vilify animal fat and certain fruit fats in the fatty fruits or coconuts, avocados, olives, because they have saturated fats in them. And there's such a, a myth around saturated fat. The idea is even taught in the upper levels of academia, you eat saturated fat and they're going to combine together to create a plaque in your blood vessels and now you're gonna die from a heart attack. And that is simply myth. They may as well be saying that little unicorns are flowing through your blood vessels <laughs> and that's what's gonna give you a heart attack. A right. little unicorn wouldn't give you a heart attack. Right. Um, but that's the myth that, that this paradigm is based on. But when you sh shift the focus away from these ancestral fats, what we as a species have been eating since the beginning of time, to these modern fats, now you have a problem. So I'm not so bold as to say eat fat and eat it all the time and eat any kind of fat. No, eat ancestral fats, enjoy them, but f worry and scrutinize these refined seed oils. Things like soybean oil or canola oil or, co or co uh, cotton seed oil. Someone would they, they hear me saying this, and on one hand, they may be thinking, oh, well, those are healthy because they're polyunsaturated fats. Or another person will say, I don't need any soybean oil. Yeah, you do. Soybean oil has actually gone on to become the single most commonly consumed fat in the American diet. Wow. We eat more of our calories from soybean oil than literally any other fat in the diet. And that's because this is a cheap fat, and they can work it into almost every packaged product. So if you're eating your carbohydrates mostly. When you're looking at those chips or, or that bread or, or, or whatever else it may be, that cake, almost certainly the primary fat in that is going to be some form of soybean oil. And the problem with those oils, they undergo what's called oxidation. They become something called a lipid peroxide. And if you wanna talk about a bad fat, that is a bad fat. A lipid peroxide is really this kind of unholy union of this fat and oxidative stress. Mm. And the two come together, creating this little monster of a child. And it, that then is likely what's uh, responsible for the development of atherosclerotic plaques, which is itself the basis of, of heart disease and heart attacks. So when it comes to fat, we very much are fat friendly um, because the evidence supports it in human clinical studies, but also relying on these data, we have focused on the ancestral fats fats that our ancestors have been eating since the beginning of time, and that's coming from animal sources and the fatty fruits.